Hi everybody, this is Milky. Today we're gonna have another tutorial video for the Scroll of Taiwu. The system we're gonna introduce today is the fighting system. While I just started playing Taiwu, this is the system that I was the most confused about and wanted to learn more about. Before this video, I did a lot of research online, so this video is going to be packed info with information. I hope you are ready for it and I hope you find this video helpful. The first tips that I want to give is definitely the one that I hope I knew before I started playing, which is how to stop fight. Even though Taiwu's fighting system is not turn based, but you can always stop fighting and adjust little things like desired distance or just to look at your enemy's uh, information, such as what kung fu the, the enemy knows. Uh, in order to do that, all you need to do is simply hit space to stop fighting and restart it. The next section we can look at is this section here at the left corner. You can basically think this as your health bar. However, in Taiwu, it's separated into three different sections. The first section is your shield. When you started fighting, your shield is the first one that gets lower until zero. But when enemy has a weak spot or is being poisoned, it will ignore the shield and directly hurts the player. It kind of makes sense because personally, I love kung fu books and TV shows. And to my understanding, you can imagine your shield as a chi that wraps around your body that protects you. So if you have a weak spot that's open or poison that goes inside your body, it makes sense that your shield or the chi won't be able to protect you. I don't know whether this is why the developer designed the system like this, but I find this helps me remember how it works. Then the second section is how much external damage you have taken, and the purple line is how much internal damage you have taken. These white flags means the situation or the defeated condition. So if either your external damage or internal damage line reached this flag, then you are defeated. Sometimes instead of the red, the white flag, the defeated condition is the skeleton. That means the enemy is uh, having a death fight with you. If either your external or internal damage reach the, ex the skeleton, then you are dead caused by the combat. Same goes to the enemy. If uh, they reach the white flag, either their external damage or internal damage reach the white flag, they are defeated by you. The next section we can look at is this circle section here. This section represents the fighting style. This blue circle represents the process of your style. How fast the circle spins is related to your attack speed. If once the circle is completed, you will be able to use that style. Every time a person uses a style, you will be collected here like this. So I was able to use that style and it was collected here. There is a maximum number of style you can collect. Once in you, it's exceeded your max number, the oldest style will be removed. Different Kung Fu have different style requirements. For example, for 12th way of assassination, you can see its style cost is one step. And for incomplete sword of more evil, its style cost is two hacks. You can only use this Kung Fu if you satisfy the style requirement. Right now, I only have one hack here, so I can't use any of my Kung Fu. You can see here that I have uh, satisfied the style requirement for incomplete Sword of More Evil because it needs two hack, and here I have uh, put out two hack. Then I can click on this to trigger incomplete Sword of More Evil, and uh, it will be triggered. So basically, I will be able to put out a much stronger Kung Fu, which is awesome. Sometimes you will be able to trigger style change. When the style change is triggered, you can choose to change your style and the body parts that you are attacking. Different body parts have a different inflicted damage and success rate. And you can see sometimes um, people have a weak spot. So if you hit their weak spot, it will increase the external damage taken on this part. If you can style change successfully, your current attack will change to the different style you chose. Otherwise, your attack will be counted as failed and you won't be collected in your style collection here. Once you get a hang of this system, you can use this method to get required style for your Kung Fu fast and focus on attacking enemies' weak spot. 
Then we can look at this section here. Uh, this is your focus circle. The inner circle represents your inhale and the external circle represents your stance. When your inhale and stance is used, the system will recover your inhale first and then the stance. You can only trigger one of your Kung Fu if both inhale and stance circle is completed. The speed of the circle is affected by your focus level. Focus can be increased by plan before the fight or when you are attacked, your focus level increase. You can see some of the Kung Fu will consume your stance. For example, the 12th of, 12th way of assassination, it consumes stance. And uh, some of the Kung Fu will con also con consume your inhale. For example, for the incomplete sword of more evil, you can see it will cause 80% of my stance and 20% of my inhale. And then we can explain the distance system of this game. Sometimes understand the distance system and uh, control your distance wisely would uh, help you win a fight. Underneath your character is your attack range. This attack range is changed by your weapon. You can see for your weapon, each one of them have attack range. For example, for my weapon, the sword, the attack range is 3 to 5. And for other, you know, close weapon, its attack range could be 2 to 4. And for, you know, long range weapon, its attack range could be from 5 to 8. And then we can look at this number here. This is the current distance between you and your enemy. If the current distance between you and your enemy is more than your max attack distance, then you won't be able to attack your enemy. You can also set the distance you want to move by moving this bar here. Sometimes you can set the desired distance to be out of your enemy's attack range but within your attack range, which will give you great advantage because you are the only one that could attack people. These three circles here beneath the number is your movement points. Every successful movement will use one movement point. If all mo your movement points is used, it will greatly reduce your character's moving speed. This blue circle here, you can see this little blue circle here, is the progress of your movement. When the circle is completed, you will be able to move towards the desired distance. Your move progress will be slowed down if you get attacked. Then we can also look at these sections here. The first section are how how you want to attack your enemy. And then here are which weapon do you want to use. Changing a weapon requires time. For example, you can see right now I want to change from sword to using this one. And it takes some time for me to change it. And within this time, the enemy can attack us. So let's, it's usually better to try not to switch weapon. And then the three circles here are heal, detox, and uh, escape from the battle. So for each battle, right now I have one chance to heal my injuries that happened during the fight. And detox are, it will reduce all the toxin that's inside us. Also, when our distance is 9, we can actually try to escape from the battle. So there's a ways to increase the heal chance you have each battle. If you want to do it, you will have to increase your medicine skill and uh, your detox skill. Also, here are the Kung Fu that you can use. For example, Little Leap is your footwork. And these are the Kung Fu that you selected from here. So if, if I decided to put it here, then put my Kung Fu here, then I will be able to use them within the fight. Then we can see this section here are our comrade. Comrade sometimes can help us during the fight by either take uh, an attack from us, so which means the enemy was going to attack us, but instead our comrade will stand here and take the damage for us. Or sometimes when we have a Kung Fu, they will buff us up and uh, make, us, make us stronger during the fight. Then we can see here, this is a pure essence. So having a pure essence definitely help you to become stronger during the fight. Right now we have zero. If enemy has a lot of pure essence, usually it means it will be way harder for us to fight that enemy. Also here are the internal energy points, which are what we decided to use. 
from this section. And then we can also see enemies' internal energy points. We can see what weapon they're using and what styles they're going to use. So that's it for our tutorial for today. The system of Taiwu is really complicated. As you can see, there's so many components just for the fighting. And I definitely still have a lot to learn. But I'm always happy to share what I have learned with you. And you, I hope you find this video helpful for your Taiwu journey. Please let me know if you want to watch more tips and tutorial video for Taiwu or if you have any specific system that you would like to learn. If you have a question about the system, even if I don't know, I'm happy to research about it online and share the information with you. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys next time.